In today's Tau vs. Chaos Path to Glory mission, we're doing Crucible of War Patrol. Mini War Gaming's Path to Glory! Mini War Gamer Dave here from MiniWarGamer.com. Here with Cullen. Welcome, War Gamers, to Mission 7 of the Path to Glory Tau vs. Chaos campaign. I was going to say Path to Glory again. Path but to glory, path to glory. This is lucky number seven, which means it's Nurgle's number, which means this could possibly be the last number. Who knows? So you're not going to know. You're going to also see that there's a link to another video in the video description below to a vault video. You don't know if that's going to be another battle or if it's going to be a post game discussion. Either way, there's going to be eight videos because he's at 10 glory points right I now. I am. Which means if he wins this battle, he wins the entire campaign. The entire thing. If I win, then the next game will for sure determine who the winner is. Because once you have 10 glory points, you become a demon prince, which is going to happen in this game, by the way. Oh, yeah. You be, that's spoiler. So it's either going to be a, a Terminator demon or a Commander demon? Right. Exactly right. So we shall see. But first things first, let's add to our warbands. Adding to the Tau warband first, D3, to see which one we choose from. It will be a vehicle. D3 again, another Riptide. Here's the new Riptide with a Heavy Burst Cannon and two Fusion Blasters. He also has Target Lock and Advanced Targeting Systems. And let's not forget his Shield Drones. Correction, Shielded Missile Drones. Wow. Now we're over to Cullen's Death Guard, rolling to see what he All gets. Alright, what smelly thing are we going to get today? D3. Oh, you get a Retinue, so that's a 6, and then roll another die to see what you get. 6-6. So. Oh. Six, six. What is that? That's 10 Chaos Space Marines. Cool. So here are my 10 Chaos Space Marines, all nurgly painted. And we are going to have two plasma guns in there. And the sergeant there will have a power fist. Special thanks to GameMat.eu for providing the gaming mat for this battle, plus these ruined terrains. We also have Gale Force 9 for these ruins, these chaos ruins. Trees are green leaf terrain. And that is all. For the Crucible of War patrol mission in the rule book, first things first, Caller and I are going to determine who is the attacker and who is the defender. Uh huh. Okay. So why don't we just do this? Four up, I'm the defender. Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense, right? There we go. Okay. That means I am the attacker. Attacker. Okay. This is what our deployment will look like. Here are some unique stratagems that are available to us. Green being attacker, red being defender. We start the battle having three units each on the battlefield in our deployment zones. One of those units has to be a troop's choice. Starting at the second round, we're going to roll for reserves. Attacker needs to roll a 4 plus for their reserves. Defender rolls a 3 plus for their reserves. At the end of the mission, who's ever destroyed more units wins. As stated at the beginning of the campaign, Cullen and I are using our favorite points as the amount of command points that we have. Cullen has 10, I have 9. Now Cullen is spending 2 for home advantage. He being the defender, he's able to spend 2 to roll 2 dice to pick the highest to see who goes first. We're going to both roll dice. Whoever gets the highest gets to choose who goes first. Hmm. So we tie, we roll again. Hmm. Want to roll both my dice again? I think you would. <laughs> Okay, it helped. And you get to choose. Uh, no, I'm gonna go first. All right. So now I'm going to start with the Rhino, and it's just gonna start driving up, trying to uh, say hello, Mr. Broadside. I see you on that side of the table. Actually, we're just gonna, might as well advance. We're gonna go up an extra, ooh, four. That should help. This is the Chaos Space Marine Rhino, the new guys, by the way. And I will be popping smoke on that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and announce it now before I forget. And then the Muller Fiend will advance as well. Ooh. Hello. He's gonna go whoop, run through that way, getting over there. And then the Defiler there is just gonna stand still. We're gonna go right on to Shoosting. The Defiler will shoot. He's gonna put his Reaper Auto Cannon into the drones of the broadside, those marker drones there. And his battle cannon will go into the broadside, hoping we can uh, do something. Starting out with the Reaper Auto Cannon, we got four shots on fours. Yep. Can't remember where it is. Three's to win. Three's to win. <laughs> Minus one, five up saves, and my drones. 
two wounds. Oof. I think they're both dead. I think so. I didn't. Oh. Battle cannon. Decent. How many? Oh. Ooh. I need one more, actually. On fours. Oh, oh no. So we're gonna just one. And it's gonna hit wound on a three. Three. It's tough to survive. Oh, that did nothing anyway. It does nothing. First things first, on tower turn one, I'm going to move my broadside up into this terrain, advancing him. Ooh. Six. He's a speedy boy. Yes, he is. I'm going to move my Riptide back, because he can. He's got uh, target lock. On second thought, I'm not going to move back. I'm going to move here. Yeah. I have plasma, whatever they're called. They're, Fusion! They're Meltas. So I'm optimistic. Shield drones with missiles will go in front. Double fish moving up so that his guns are in range of the rhino. Shooting phase, broadside can't shoot because he advanced, but riptide can shoot. He's going to shoot at the Molochine right here because scariness. So he gets a mortal wound because I want him to have more shots. Yeah, oh yeah. Starting with a heavy burst can. I have 18 shots with it. Can hit you on fours. Wounding on fives. Getting two. Minus two because advanced targeting, so five up safe. And I don't even make one. So two damage each. So you're down to eight wounds. Now for the fusion blasters. Yes, this is the big deal. Possibly take you out here. Hits on fours. No! <laughs> Nothing. Now for the drones. Missile pods, two shots each. Two hits. Four to wound now. Getting Eight. two wounds. I get my four save. It's only minus one. And I don't make either, and they're D3 damage. <laughs> oh. Four damage, down to four. Now the guns in the tank. It's all the same stats with the burst cannon and the carbine, so we're going to just hit on fours. This is against a rhino, by the way. Four hits. Five to wounds. Getting one. Three up save from the rhino. Actually, you know what? You popped smoke, didn't you? I did. Oh, yeah. Man. Nah. You rolled a six anyway, so nothing happened. Muller Fiend in my movement phase. He regains a wound for infernal regeneration. But it still doesn't put him up a bracket, so he's just got movement eight. He's gonna go like right there. Okay, Space Marines disembarking from the rhino there. And then this rhino is gonna come say, Hello, Mr. Devilfish. I'm gonna make your movement awkward. So now we're gonna go on to the reserves part of the game where we all roll, and because I'm the defender, I get mine on a three up. But I also have the ability to spend command points to auto get guys in if I want. So I'm at eight command points, so I know I'm gonna definitely spend one to auto pass this defiler so I can get two defilers in for sure. Hmm. And then I'm going to spend another two to drop to five and bring in two squads of Chaos Space Marines for sure. Or the uh, Plague Marines, sorry. So we're gonna bring in the this squad and then the Close Combat Squad. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna roll for everyone else. That's what we're gonna do. So, Chaos Lord. In. He's in. Our Dark Apostle here is not, but ours. Yeah, yeah, it's on a three plus. Oh, it is a three, because yes, I yeah, am the defender. I'm on a four. And the friends, his friends come along. The Warp Smith does not. Our spawn does and the last squad of, K of plague marines does as well wow so just the warp smith and now that the dark apostle is on the battlefield we're going to roll for his prayer which is warp site plea which he's going to try to put on this defiler that has not moved this turn and it goes off on a two up because of hans and franz yay plus one to hit and also note that your chaos lord is right here next to your defilers so you can make your re-rolls shooting phase starting with the chaos base screens firing into this broadside. Just the, we're trying to guess how much damage we can do here, so I guess we'll start with the plasma guns. So we're also gonna have the sergeant here throw a grenade into this combat as well. And we are going to spend the command points for veterans of the long war, so we can uh, reroll to wound. So you wound better. Yes. Plus one wound. And we're gonna start with the plasma guns, which we will supercharge. So we're gonna start with that guy, front guy. No ones. You get two hits. And the other guy, oh, hey, he, he dies. But he still has a hit from it, so three hits. 
And wounding on twos here. That's two wounds. So I'm a four up save because I'm in cover. Save both. I just had to get your face. I mean, that was a good face. <laughs> okay. And the grenade. And it hits. And you wound me on twos with this because of veterans, and that's a wound. Still got my two up. I'm in cover. Save. And we got 14 shots from the bolters on threes. And then five fours Four. to wound because veterans. That's right. All right. Making my saves. Well, that was a big potato. Mm hmm. <laughs> We're gonna do the defiler that walked on this turn, so he's gonna be on fives to hit, but he's gonna put his Reaper Auto Cannon into the missile drones over there. Ooh. And actually, they are shielded missile drones, so we'll put both guns into them. Okay. Reaper Auto Cannon first. And I do get to reroll my ones, but I don't roll any, so that's good. Two hits, because he moved. Yeah. Okay. Two wounds. Four up save for me. Oh, that's two deaths. Oh, wait. They're uh, missile drones, right? Yep, so you get to ignore on a five up. And so you ignore one damage. One dies. And the big gun, D6. Oh. Hello. Fives. Three. And wounds on two. Three wounds. All three. Four up in one. And feel no pain. So roll your damage, your D3. Uh, two and two. Uh, so yeah, one, one with three, so that's two. So I will five up for those, and he's dead. And then the juiced up defiler here is going to fire everything into the riptide because broadside shooting didn't go as planned. Reaper auto cannon. And this guy's hitting on threes because of the dark fossil and rerolling ones because of the lord. But I got a two. Wounding on fours. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Actually, off camera, uh, Colin Demon forged. So reroll the one hit because you missed it. All right, so, so that still would have been. These are your wounds, so reroll those. So you get one. Only win. one. So I'm a three up save on that. And I make it. Battle Kanonin. And okay, That's let's get rolling high for this guy. He's hitting on threes with the reroll. But he doesn't need it. Wounding on threes. With that reroll as well. Yep. Four. Minus two, four up. One goes through. D3. And that guy's a D3 for only one. Rhino's gonna fire its two shots because might as well. He's shoot here because why strip wounds off the devil fish right now? So into the broadside? <laughs> yeah, so that's one hit. That's a wound. Save. Save. So this is actually a really good situation. So, Colin, you're declaring a charge here with your Mollerfiend into the Riptide. Yes, I am. I have the option here of greater gooding overwatching with the broadside as well. And I think I'm gonna do it because I know you're gonna charge with your. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because once you once you grade are good, you can no longer overwatch. So that's the big decision here. Yeah, yeah. I could gamble it, not... Uh, just trying you know, to just... take it fully out with the... Yeah. So I will definitely join the overwatch. Starting with the Riptide and his Heavy Burst Cannon. Hitting on fives. Mm-hmm. Because you are overwatching as a Tau Sept. Wounding on sevens. <laughs> <laughs> on fives. So we got three wounds. And minus two because of my advanced targeting system. So all three go through. Hmm. Well, that was a fail. But Yes. And I cannot overwatch when you charge with your plague marine, so I guess there's a victory. Mm -hmm. So now the cast basement is gonna try to charge into the broadside. And get shot at by a riptide. So I didn't actually grade her good with him yet. Exactly. You only normal overwatched. So okay. he can totally join the overwatch with the not broadside. But I can't overwatch with the broadside because he greater good overwatch. Exactly. Ugh. Hitting on fives. Okay, no. Wooding on threes. Okay, five wounds. Minus two, five up saves. Okay. Save two. Three back guns. Wah! Two fusion blasters. One hit. Wooding on a two. Melt my face. That's the wound that goes through, so that's just death. <laughs> Needing a four inch on the charge. I can roll that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, I know, it was close. You get seven though, Nurgle wants it. So you go first with all your guys. You wanna just go with the power fist first? Yeah, oh yeah. So the power fist is gonna punch. Being on fours, two misses. Mm. 
And five normal guys punching them. Four. Four. And that's three wounds. Two up save. Oh. Hey, got one. <laughs> Down to five. I attack you back. You got three attacks hitting on fives. One hit. Wounding on threes. One wound. Regular three up. Uh, you have advanced targeting system, so I do get a minus one. Oh, you're right. Because it adds to the fist punches. That makes sense. And yeah. I pass. Yeah. Ralph phase. You lost four guys. Roll a dice. Five, six. You lose more. You lose Ooh. nothing. Okay. In my turn, I'm going to disengage. Whoop. Movement phase. Mortal wound. Down to 11. More shots on my Riptide. And, uh, yeah, sure. I'll just stay right here where I am. You know what? I'm going to move over here a little bit, too. In fact, I'm going to move over here. Do the Tau thing and just move over here. So behind cover. Devilfish. It's going to move up over here. End of my movement phase, I'm going to make reserve rolls, normally on fours, according to this scenario, but I'm going to spend two command points for signal the attack stratagem. I'm able to add one to all of my reserve rolls, so I need to roll threes as well, starting with these Vespids. They come on. This unit of Fire Wars inside the Devilfish, making one roll for that unit. They do not come on. They are inside the other Devilfish. Over here, this Fire Blade comes on. That commander comes on. This commander comes on. All right, now this time. is where I'm going to stop you. Because I can spend two command points to give you minus two to your roll, and I will. Okay, so, so I need a five up on him? Put me to one command point, though. Because it costs two for that. Yeah. And I fail. He does not come on. And you rolled two anyway. <laughs> Don't you just love how I rolled a two anyway? Yeah, I know, I know. So it's so worth it. It's so worth it. I've deployed everything in one blob here because I don't want to go anywhere else. This is my deployment zone, and I have to deploy here anyway, so they're in, they're in a blob. Okay. Shooting phase, starting with the Fire Warriors. There's a Fire Blade nearby, so they get an extra shot. You're in rapid fire range because you are in line of sight. Thank you for jumping up top so you can attack my broadside. So three shots each on the Fire Warriors. 15 dice here, I'm gonna roll it twice. Before I actually fire with them, let's, let's actually fire with the Fire Blade first. I'll target this tank that's kind of being a nuisance right now, right in front of me. So, he hits on a 3 because I moved. So he hits. One mark of light on the tank, I can re-roll, hit rolls of 1. Back to the Fire Warriors, into the Plague Marines, hitting on 4s. 5 hits only so far, so I'm going to just roll this again. Strength 5, winning you on 3s. You recover, you get 2 up saves. See how it feels. Haha, -ha, 1 dies. Mm -hmm. Sure, him. <laughs> Vespas with their Jimmy Neutrons are going to shoot at the Plague Marines. Hitting on fours. <laughs> Hitting on threes. One wound. You get a... Three up? No. Oh. So it was minus one on that, which is why he died. I'll do all the shots from the Delfish now into the Plague Marines. Twelve shots with the combined guns. Hitting on fours. Hitting you on threes. One wound, two up, save. Save. This commander will focus his shots on the Plague Marines, starting with the Air Burst Fragmentation Array. Did I just actually call that right? Oh, you got it. Ah! I'm gonna wash my mouth out with soap! D6 shots. Hitting on twos. Five hits. Wounding on fours. Four wounds. Hello. No AP, though. So. One die. This guy, and we only have two plasma guns and a power fist left. Actually, I didn't kill the guy who got hot. Other devilfish will do the same thing. Hitting on fours. <laughs> Wounding on threes. It's two wounds. It's enough to kill you. But will it? Kills one. Sergeant left. Riptide. His uh, fusion, burst, blasters. fusion blasters will shoot at your one guy left in this rain, and then my heavy burst can will shoot at the rhino. Two shots. They both hit. Wounding on twos. Both wound. You are in cover, so you're a six up save. You get two. both, sorry? Yep, I yeah. got both. And so you just melted his face. 18 shots now, heavy burst cannon. 
into the rhino. Hitting up fours. That's a little better. Reroll those ones. Because of marker lights. Wow. Or a marker light. Huh. Three more. Wounding on fives. Minus two. Oh no. That's eight damage. He's down oh, to no. two. There is many a hole in this rhino. Mm-hmm. It's the last commander here. He's got shots. He's gonna shoot the rhino. Missile pods first. Hitting on twos. You're rolling ones because of marker lights. Mm-hmm. Six hits. Wounding on fours. Four wounds. Minus one, four saves. Oh. One goes through, D3 damage, this could possibly kill you. You gotta roll the one. Boom. And it kills you. Do you explode? Explodey! I do not. Rhino, death. <laughs> and that is my turn. Start of the turn, though, we're gonna pray. Warp site plea, onto that defiler. Yay. Hey. Onto movement, the rhino over here will advance. He's got close combat, guys. He wants to get up there. Let's go. And he'll pop smoke while he's there. Spawn. Get in there. Whoop. And then we'll start with this guy. And this guy. We're just gonna zoom. That guy's just gonna, we're gonna start moving up. And last but not least, we gotta roll to see if he finally wants to come in. Nope. He's sleepy. Actually, just doing quick measure, the defilers have to creep up just a little bit so they can get their 36 inch range on the stuff uh, to there. And then the Lord and friends will just keep up, but they just move to the max of their movement. So we're gonna start in the shooting phase with the defiler here, the guy who's juiced up and he's gonna fire everything into the fire warriors. We're just gonna try to clear that squad. The Reaper auto cannon has its four shots on fours. Oh, or actually, so this guy's on fours, plus one, minus one, because he... So he's fours. Yeah. So now only one. Hey, but it does wound. Warp to a five up. Hit. Battle cannon. Four. For only another one. No. That is, oh, wait, for hits. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So one wound. Uh, so six up save, because minus two. Death. One fire warrior dies. And then this guy hitting on fives will go into... We're going to change our targets to the drones that he can see, which are the ones on the commander there. And again, on fives with him. Oh, okay. Battle cannon for three. Fives! Got two! That's what we need! But only one wound. That's an involve. Shield drone. Nothing happens. End of my moving phase here. I just fast forwarded because I moved everything up a little bit. I moved so my devil fish are within 18 inches of your spawn. Mm -hmm. so it counts as a victory point, right? I also moved so my fire warriors are within 15 inches of your rhino. My riptide moved a little bit so that he's within 18 inches of your rhino. My broadside had to move as well to gain line of sight to your rhino. And everything else moved up as well. I'm going to spend one command point to make my reserve roll from a four to a three. And I will spend a command point to bring that back down to a four. That is my last command point, so I'm hoping it does something. Riptide does not come in. Still, still didn't really need it, but sure. <laughs> I'm happy. On to the shooting phase, starting with the first devil fish. Let's go with this one right here. Shooting at your spawn. Hitting on fours. Wounding on fours. That's four wounds. Five up save. Save two, two go through. The second devilfish will make its fires at him too. Hitting on fours. Only four hits, wounding on fours. Getting two. Five up saves. One wound One left. wound. Shaw, uh, uh, fire fire blade. blade. Marker light into the rhino. Nope. Command point reroll. Hits you. Shooting with the riptide first into the rhino. And I already took off a wound so that I can get more shots with my heavy burst cannon. Hitting on fours. Rerolling once. For the rerolls. Winning on fives. 
Wow. Okay. Uh, uh. That's minus two. Five ups. I did not roll as well as you. Four go through. Eight damage. And for the fusion blasters. Hitting on fours. Rerolling ones. Marker lights. It's two misses. Broadside now. Gonna fire for the first time. Into the tank. Eight shots. Hitting on fives because I moved. Rerolling ones because of marker lights. Alright, so three hits. Wounding on fours. One wound at minus two. Mm -hmm. And Go uh, through. <laughs> D3 damage, yeah? Yep. Four, uh, yep. Yep. Does it explode? Oh, you roll. Explode, explode. Oh, oh, no. It explodes. So Spawn dies because of that. Because of the mortal wound. He's within the blast radius and he only has one wound left. And uh, rolling for the guys who came out on ones. Guys die. So one guy dies. Uh. Commander, what number? Actually, you know what? We'll do fire warriors for you. Hitting on fours, we're rolling, actually not rerolling ones, not marker lit. So, just hitting on fours. And that looks like a really good roll. <laughs> Three is the wound. Seriously. Wow. Three up save. One, two, three, four more. Disgustingly resilient. Oh no! Okay, so four truly die. Oh. Uh, I guess I gotta take a little launcher. This commander now into the squad of plague marines, starting with the missile bomb. Second thought, I'm gonna go with this commander first. Fragmentation array, d6, one. Hits, yes. Wounds, no. Two plasma rifles hitting on twos, two hits. Wounding on threes. Actually, there's a bit of a mistake here with uh, the fire warrior shooting at the plague marines. I wound you on fours, not threes. Right. So we're going to go, well, we counted the dice, and so roll six, because six are the wounds that you had, right? Yep. So roll this, and we'll see what happens now. So you lose two, and then disgustingly resilient. Okay, so okay. you lose two instead of four. So the blight launcher will come back on the icon. Okay. Plasma rifles now on the commander, into the plague marines. That's one hit. Wounding, that's a wound. Six up. Made it. Oh. Let's shoot the Vespids at you. Hitting on fours here. Hitting on fours. Three wounds. Four up. Three huh. go through. Disgusting resilient. Vespids are minus two, not minus one. So it is three disgustingly resilient. Yeah, because the, the armor save I made was a five, which it would have been on fives. And I don't make any of these. Three die. Ooh. Uh. Now, Commander, on to the plate ring. Six shots, missile pods, hitting on twos. All hits, wounding on threes. Four wounds, minus two, minus, minus one. one. So one goes through. Uh, D3. Yep. So three, disgustingly resilient. <laughs> he doesn't. Death. On to the beginning of my turn. Prayer, warp sight, plea. Goes off. Advance this tank. And advance that tank. Three and five. This guy's gonna drive up to here. And they're both gonna just pop smoke. Towing. So I think we kinda kinda talked about it for a second, realizing that uh, I don't think I can get enough points by just shooting. Um, so I gotta start moving up these defilers. So against I think all reason I'm gonna advance this guy And this guy's gonna try to do or I mean I guess he won't advancing won't help him So we'll just walk and get minus one to hit uh, These guys are just gonna keep up so We're gonna have that defiler the only guy who can actually shoot right now and uh, he's gonna go into these drones because they don't have cover where those ones do. So we're gonna have four shots of the Reaper auto cannon on four or fives because he moved. One hit. Wounds. Wounds. Goes through. Five up. Ignore. Okay, he's one of these guys is dead. And the battle can D six. Four. On fours or three fives. <laughs> Numbers. Two hits. Two wounds. Four up. 
Two saves. Hm. That's my final positioning here. Uh, I'm just going to try to block you. Fireblade. You know what? I'm torn because it's minus one hit because pop smoke. So I'm actually going to try to shoot your defiler. Okay. So let's do fireblade into him. That's a hit. So we roll ones for marker light. Let's just put everything into it. Except for the fire warriors. They're going to do 27 shots on this rhino. Because otherwise they only get nine on the defiler. So they hit on fives though because minus one hit. Wounding on fives. Three wounds. Two up save behind cover. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Down to eight. Vespid's now shooting at the Defiler. Ten shots hitting on fours. We were only ones for marker lights. Wounding on fives. Two wounds at minus two. Five up. Both go through. One damage apiece. Down to twelve. Mr. Riptide into Defiler. And he has wounded himself to get more shots. He's down to nine wounds now. Eighteen with his heavy burst cannon. Hitting on fours. Rolling the one. Marker light. Wounding on fives. Getting three. Minus two. So that is six damage. He's down to six. Fusion blaster. Two hits, finally. Uh, wounding on threes. Two wounds. Five up in bone. No! Oh boy. So just 2d6 and not within uh, melter range. Seven. Ah. Does he explode on a six? Does Oof. not. Oof. Broadside at your other defiler. Hitting on fours. Wounding on fours. Minus two. Two go through. D3. Three actually go through. So, three D3 damage. Ooh. Seven. Eight smart missiles. Hitting on fours. Wounding on fives. Getting two. Minus one. David Bow. This commander now shooting at the defiler. Missile pods first. Hitting on twos. Wounding on fours. Three wounds. Minus one. One goes through. D3 damage. Ooh. Down to four. Pulse rifle hitting on a two. That's a hit. Plasma. Plasma rifle, sorry. So wounding on a three now. That's a wound. Five up in bone. Nope. One damage, so he's down to three wounds. This commander back here, he's a little bit too far away to hit the filer, so he'll hit the rhino. Starting with the fragmentation ray. Two shots. Hit on threes because you're popped smoke. And wounding on fives. Nothing. Two plasma rifles. Hitting on threes. Two hits. Wounding on threes. It's two wounds. You're five up because you're in cover. Save hey. both. It's all my shooting. Took out a defiler. I'm up to that seven hurt. victory points. What are you at? Three? Uh, two? Yep. Two. Two. Yep. Start your phase my eight. turn. We're going to regain a wound. And... Not a wound on the rhino, and then dark fossil. Let's pray to the dark gods. Warp site, plea goes off on the bat defiler. On that note, Colin's actually agreeing to call it. Yeah, I, I'm kind of doing the math here, and because you have seven and yeah. I only have two, I have to get five points, which is killing five things. And I put that drone. There is only one there, but I got to kill that drone, those drones, the the vespids, the unit of fire warriors, a devil fish, like. It's, it's, I don't see it happening, so we're just going to call it here, and we're going to have... Okay, looks like one more game. One more game.